Hello and welcome. So that very last video I did, if you're new, you'll have to go check that out. I will link that in the corner for you up here and in the description box below. Just really motivated me. I really wanna get through some of this stuff. My art room is a bit of a mess right now because of the busyness of the holiday. I usually try and keep it super clean, but things just get dumped sometimes and sometimes you have to deal with the aftermath. So let's get started. So I literally filmed that video yesterday, even though you're seeing this on Friday and that video was Tuesday. Yeah, today is actually Tuesday for me, <laughs> the day the video released. But anyway, I vacuumed this rug twice yesterday and look at it already. The dogs have already brought two of their bones in here because they like to hang out with me and I always hang out here. I spend my whole day here pretty much because I like it here. It's fun. But this is what I didn't want to show you yesterday was this mess of a desk. Yeah. Oh, man. It's just when I have so many projects, things just get dumped when I don't have time to kind of finish everything. And all of this, this pile of stuff is actually in front of that dresser that was in the last video you guys saw. And I really would like to get to the fourth drawer today. So we're going to get rid of and organize all of this stuff and go through that drawer. But I'm not going to make you sit through all of this while I kind of go through all of this. I will give you a few highlights and that's about it. That is the Jazza, Jazzy's art box that is like the three set. I still need to sell that on eBay. This is the watercolor paper I bought for my cat coloring books, which I will be working on the first week of February, so hopefully that will be finished very soon. I brought this big suitcase to class with me because I needed to bring a lot of stuff with me, and it just got put here because there's still watercolor stuff in there I need to get out. I need to ship something to Diane in this box. Two things, actually. Ugh, it's just a mess. That tub, actually, you can't really see it. Under there is art supplies my dad found in a trailer he bought and he gave to me and I'd like to go through. This easel is something I want to get out and explore with you guys. These are picture frames. These are paintings that I want to do a jewel room. That's really cool. You'll have to wait for that. So I just have a lot to do. And this stuff here, this is stuff I brought with me on my trip to Arizona that I just took last week. And when I brought the stuff in, I just set it here. So really need to go through that. That is a water bottle that one of my kids just placed there. Whatever, I'll have to take care of that. And that stuff usually just stays. So lots to do today. I'm excited to get it done. One other thing is when I did that video with the marker drawer, I thought I had way more markers. And I know I've put a bunch up over there in the marker storage bins, but I did find them. These are the markers that I got out for my grandma to play with when she was here. And here's that other koi set I mentioned I thought I had. And she had just put them over in the side table of the couch, so I missed them. Along with some pencils, these both go in the pencil drawer. This pencil sharpener goes in the pencil drawer. And she had gel pens over there too. So I have a little bit more to add to that fourth pencil drawer that I have to go through, which is kind of scary because it's already really full, so we'll see. But the markers at least go somewhere else. Also, real quick, some things are on my desk because they are like unfinished projects and I hate to put them away because I'm afraid I'm going to forget about them so I need a little bit better planner implementer. But this jar is here because I need to put Mod Podge on it. Mod Podge and see if that is dishwasher safe then. This is here because I need to create a swatch sheet for it. This just isn't put away. Most of that just isn't put away. This is here because it's not put away. This is my new paint that I need to swatch. The PH Martins Hydras paint is still here because I need to swatch and put that in the window for light fast testing. The Roman Small palette is out because I went ahead and looked at the colors that I already had and ordered 12 new colors with my Christmas and birthday money. There are some paintings I just need to put away. This palette here is out just because my son's girlfriend borrowed the swatch sheet out of it for her, so I have it out to remind me that we need to make her her own swatch sheet and get that going. This little dude came in a subscription box and his arm needs repaired and I still have the screws somehow there. Cats and dogs did not actually make that disappear, so that's good. So things are just out, like in progress, but I need to just have a list for those kind of things instead of just piling them on my desk so I can put them away and then just go through my list and do my to-dos that way. So I have some ideas for that and maybe I'll implement it. Maybe not, probably I'll implement it after my California trip. It's one we take every year. It's like 10, 10 to 12 days gone and that's coming up and I also need to cook for that ahead of time and put all my Christmas stuff away. Eek. Uh, but we're gonna do this art room first. Yeah, yeah. It's a few hours later. I've gotten a little distracted here and there by a few YouTube videos and stuff I put away leading to other things, but there's my desk 
It's mostly better. There's still a few things I need to take care of over here. These things go in the colored pencil drawer that we are about to pull out. I still have a few things in front of the dresser that I would love to get rid of, but I have to do things with those. So list them, go through them, try them, hang them. <laughs> and that's more than I can do today. So before we get into that fourth drawer, I want to show you how easy it is to open the drawer we did in the last one. That was one hand. And I found two more things of oil pastels. And I found the Posca pastels that we received in a subscription box. So I have placed all that in here. In one hand, I can shut them. But the one below it... Oh, I can do it one-handed, but only if I pull and then pull. Oh, it's so full. It's so full. Let's dig it out, put it on the floor like we did last time. Now that it's actually out here, <laughs> I'm way less motivated to go through it than I was. But I'm still going to do it because that's the whole point of this video, right? The drawer is already full, plus we have these three items that need to go in it. So I'm not sure what's going to happen. So this is the Stonehenge paper that we had in the last video. And I put it in here where it belonged. This is black paper that comes out of the watercolor blocks and it's acid free. And so I do put it in here for drawing paper. In fact, I just put some in a different drawer with my sketchbooks that I should probably put in here. It would make more sense to be with the colored pencils, I guess. 642 things to draw. Strathmore mixed media postcards. Strathmore drawing paper. Another circle template. I actually just put circle templates I had in my, that suitcase thing you saw on the floor earlier over in my sketchbook drawer. So I'll just put this over there. Stonehenge craft paper. This is Masa paper. It came in an art subscription box. Swatch sheet for, I think, for ink tents, my ink tents pencils. And I need to redo this way differently because this is just not efficient at all. Painting light with colored pencil. This is a book. I can take this out and this out and put with art books and I have a place for that. I don't know, somewhere right there, I think. Ooh, textured black boards. I don't really like these crescent boards, but I got them in a lot of subscription boxes, so just need to use them up. That's fine. This is a photo reference for a colored pencil piece that someday I will finish. Stonehenge white paper. More crescent boards, illustration boards. I should probably put all these together. Carbon paper. I have a place for this. I don't know, maybe in the bottom of this drawer. I'm not really sure. Bristol paper. So I'm going to put this in with the other Bristol paper from last video. That makes that easy, get rid of one thing out of here. And then we just have all the little stuff, so let me show you that. So there's still some paper over here, we'll get to that in a second, but a lot of miscellaneous other stuff. Taking a broader look at the drawer, these are my fine liners, and they take up a huge amount of space, and I think since I have so much space available in that drawer from the last video, I'm going to put these in there instead. That will free up a huge amount of space for me to put all this other stuff in. Mixed media paper. This seems like the appropriate place for mixed media paper, I guess. It might make sense to have the mixed media paper with my pastels, but for now, I think I'll leave it in here. This is my Derwent watercolor pencils here and my Derwent ink tense pencils. I don't know what those are, but we will look. This is Hanamule sketch paper. It's pretty thin and smooth. It feels kind of soft. These are three empty pencil cases. I did not want to get rid of them because I like them and maybe there's a use for them. I just haven't found it yet. Although this one here came in the Jazza box, the original first Jazza box, as did these Polychromos pencils. And these would fit in here and that would kind of free up a little bit of space. So maybe I will do that. I'm not sure yet. These here are my Prismacolor colored pencils. They are in the Global Art Canvas cases. That is what my grandma was using over here as well. I just gave her the set that I basically cut in half, so it was 120 set I cut in half and put in there, so there's lots of space. I also inherited my mom's pencils, and so they're part of these cases as well. So I have two 120 sets. Oh boy. Jelly rolls I kept in here. These are just photo references, a colored pencil piece that I started and didn't finish from all of that. And these were the colored pencil magazine challenges. I don't know what these are. Let's see. Oh geez. Wait a minute. What are these? Some kind of Derwent pastel. They don't feel chalky. So maybe Derwent makes a oil pastel, but I don't know. But here are Derwent 
pastel pencils. We may have to look into this and play and see what these are. That was a kneaded eraser. It's still kind of soft. I'm gonna roll this up. Let's see what this one is. We'll do this in the drawer, it's a little easier. These are my Prismacolor Verithin pencils. So they are great for trying to do detailed hard lines because they're a much harder pencil than the Prismacolor Premier. I think these are just random Prismacolors that are not like normal, I don't know, not colors I use all the time. And so I was able to pull them out as duplicates or just extras so I know when I need a white pencil or a metallic or an off color, here they are. Q-tips for blending colored pencils. This came with the Holbein colored pencils in an art subscription box. The melts did not work very well with them at all though. And these now are the only Holbein colored pencils that I own. A Derwent graphic pencil and then two of these Sharpie China markers. They're kind of neat. I don't know if I'll use them much, but pencil sharpener, pencil sharpener, pencil sharpener. <laughs> Anyone else have this many pencil sharpeners? There's another one. Another one. I really like that one. It has an eraser on the other side. It's kind of cool. The Coombe pencil sharpener. That one's really nice. There's got to be more in here. Yeah. Metal pencil sharpener. I think this is a replacement for maybe the one my grandma was using or another pencil sharpener. So here is this pencil sharpener. And this one is really nice. It's battery operated. In fact, I have another battery operated one and I'm kind of surprised it's not in here. It's kind of blue. <laughs> I've seen it around. Another pencil sharpener. Are there any more in here? Okay, I'm probably missing some, but that is all the pencil sharpeners I'm finding. I have kneaded erasers. They come in art subscription boxes, so I've collected them. Even though I'm still using basically my first ever kneaded eraser, and it's still great. Another china marker. Where'd I put those? Blending stumps. More Q-tips. So all the blending stumps I'll gather and put together. Some more Posca markers. These are white, so I should probably put them up with my other Posca markers on my desk. I just had them in here, I guess, because the jelly rolls were in here, and so it was like my white marker area. So I'll put these with the others. And there's another jelly pen, gel roll, whatever. Another pencil sharpener sandpaper thing. An electric pencil sharpener. And I gave one to my grandma over Christmas break, and she took it home with her because she thought that was the coolest thing ever. So I have this one, and I'm pretty sure I have a Derwent one in here because, see, I have these Derwent eraser refills for it. I don't see it in here, though, so this makes me believe that perhaps I have some supplies that I have not come across yet that are not in this drawer. Kind of interesting. This is odorless mineral spirits. or Yeah, there's barely any left in there. It probably has evaporated even though it's in the jar in the container. The Brunzeal colored pencils. I gave one set of these to my son's girlfriend because she didn't have any colored pencils and I gave her that Joanna Basford book for Christmas. So I kept this set for myself. The Derwent metallic pencils. This is very important. This is for brushing off your artwork instead of using your oily hands when you're using colored pencils because sometimes they leave a lot of dust behind. It's probably good for uh, pastels as well, but I haven't tried it for that, I don't think. Some more erasers for the electric erasers. Just some regular erasers here. This is an eraser pencil thing. It's kind of weird, but interesting. Hey, a pencil extender. I knew I owned one somewhere. There it is. Card sleeves. Prismacolor blender pencil. A whole bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Makes me think maybe this all came in one art subscription box. And I just put it in here together. All the fancy schmancy brush and pencil colored pencil stuff. <laughs> so this is the titanium white the powdered blender, and the touch-up texture. So this is really high quality, good stuff for if you're playing with colored pencils, playing, you know, doing real artwork. I found this mechanical pencil today, the super thick one. I have been missing it for a long time. It's been on my mind thinking, well, I know I have it, and here is the lead for it. So it's pretty ironic that when I was cleaning up the rest of the art room today, I came across the pencil itself. So that makes me very happy, and I know where I put the pencil, so that's even better. Another palette full packs pencil case. Inside are miscellaneous pencils that I've received in different subscription boxes. So these are charcoal pencils, I don't know, graphite pencils. Nothing too special, nothing I'm very interested in, so it seemed like a good place for them. 
and a lot of this stuff could probably be put in a place like this as well, except being in their tins, that seems fine. But apparently this is Derwent Tinted Charcoal. That could be fun to get out and play with again, plus a few other carbon pencils. This is Derwent Sketching Set, along with another sharpener. My goodness, who would ever use all this? You'd have to draw with this stuff every single day. This is the little tin that I used a lot when I took a figure drawing class at my local community college. And that was kind of fun, but there was something in the room that every time I left, I got really, really sick. It's kind of interesting. So I didn't finish the class. I just couldn't keep going to class and feeling sick every time. That's kind of cool. These have some jumbo pencils in them, along with a sharpener that will take the jumbo pencils, another eraser. Oh boy. Okay, these are the General's Pastel Chalk Pencils. Uh. I probably don't need to keep those. I mean, if I'm going to use a chalk pastel, then maybe this would be something I would be more inclined to use because I've gotten rid of all of the block chalk pastels that I have as far as I remember. So maybe I would use that, and that is why I kept them, but I just don't feel all that inclined. And this case is horrible, it's just plastic, so this actually might be a good thing to go into one of those empty pencil cases I showed you earlier. My son was drawing a lot with Prismacolor black pencils and using that for outlining, and he was going through them like crazy. In fact, he has one of my pencil extenders, so I bought this entire box of black Prismacolor pencils, and then he kind of stopped drawing like that so much. So anyway, he hasn't gone through these at all, which is kind of sad. Although I did notice in his pencil kit, his black was small again, so maybe I'll pull one out here and put in his pencil case again. Graphite art pencil kit. You know what? I bet I can just get rid of this. It's unopened. I don't really like drawing with pencils all that much, so while it's cool, I'm just going to put it right here in the giveaway bin. I have some of those little Legion Stonehenge paper samples. So these are the non-watercolor ones, which is why they are in this drawer. Artist tiles in black. This came in an art subscription box. This might be fun to use with some metallic pencils and some white gel pens. A small thing of Stonehenge paper, more Stonehenge paper, more Stonehenge paper. These are size 5 by 7 I believe. Yep, 5 by 7 Mixed media. This is Colored Pencil Magazine. So I believe this is when I went and ordered a whole sample of all kinds of different papers to try out. And I did several of their Colored Pencil Challenges using these samples. So these were the samples that you received. So that's what's in there. And that was kind of fun. Some of the papers had a flaw. It made it kind of interesting, but some were really cool to use. More Stonehenge. And this is the colored pencil painting kit. So this came with a Faber-Castell Polychromos pencil that I should probably pull out and put with the others. I believe they gave me this whole sample kit when I ordered this Lux Archival Sanded Art Paper from them. Oh, another little Stonehenge sample. So anyway, I didn't even open the tape on this, but this is the sanded art paper that is supposed to be really, really nice for drawing on with colored pencils. Supposed to make it so much faster and easier, especially to do big backgrounds. Someday, maybe I'll try that. I just don't have the interest in it as I do with watercolors. And in the very front of the drawer right here were a couple of rulers. So I will actually probably pull these out and put these in the office drawer because that's where I would look for them first. And I think they need to be there instead. Let me show you the mess from afar. This is everything we've pulled out. It's way more this time than it was last time. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and there's still stuff in the drawer because I was running out of space around my body. <laughs> I'm not going to have you sit with me through the excruciating process of putting all this back in a way, but I will show you the after or maybe the middle. While I have the drawer out that we're working on now, I thought I would show you the drawer underneath it because we are not going to go through this bottom drawer on this channel because I've basically already done that when I went through all of my coloring books. Those were there and I showed you all of my sketchbooks. Those are all videos on this channel that I will link to in the description box below. They were all on there too and so this is actually pretty organized. The only things you may not have seen are all of my shape templates there and the glassine. That's really all in here that you may not have seen. Are you guys ready for the after? I am. <laughs> Here we are. Okay, so it's not great still in this area because there were just a bunch of erasers and 
pencil sharpeners didn't really have a container that would fit in here to kind of contain them, but that's okay. My pencil rolls I showed you are under these two pencil cases. I did put the polychromos in there, blending stumps in one of those, extra miscellaneous pencils in the one underneath that, and the rest is as you see it. Well, this little project actually took a lot longer than I thought it would. <laughs> I actually started it, I think, three hours ago, and mostly because of the organizing and getting rid of the rest of the stuff in the art room, not necessarily the drawer itself. That wasn't too bad. So maybe not stack projects on top of each other. Will I get to the Christmas supplies today? I don't know. If I get bored, maybe. All right, well, as with any project, it's awesome to actually have it completed. It's off the list. I don't even have to worry about that dresser as far as the drawers go anymore. There's still a bunch of stuff on top that I should probably go through. That's for another day as well. But I definitely have some painting videos coming up because there's some things that I absolutely want to get done with my watercolors before I leave on my next trip. So it, it kind of has to happen, right? <laughs> I have very limited time left. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. Hey guys, so that... <laughs> the dogs have already bought and all of this is actually in front of that dresser in last week's, or last week's. This is the watercolor paper I've bought for, bought? I don't think that's a word. To do. This swatch. <laughs> okay, we're sitting. Hey, no bones. Hey, bring your bones over here. Them and their bones are very loud. All right, so we're sitting on the floor again. Hi, dog. In front of my art desk because, I don't know why. Are these? This can't be ink tense, right? Anyone else have this many pencil sharp sharper? White, extra, extra white. Hmm. But I have a lot to do that I want to get done. Also, that's not like a chore. That's like fun, kind of have to do stuff. Wait, does that even make sense? No. Will I get to pussy? <laughs> Will I get to putting the Christmas decorations today? No. <laughs>